What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you're new to this channel, I'm Gold Pony. This is Gold Pony Crypto itself. As you can probably tell, we are clearly in the bear market, and there's been a lot of price movement lately for various different reasons, and a lot of news in general related to Crypto.com, Chrome, and Kronos, both for the good and the bad. So I'm going to be covering all of that. Also going to be going over some Kronos first updates, aka the Metaverse on Kronos. Also going to be covering a new missions feature in the Crypto.com app that literally just came out just yesterday at the time of me making this video, so that's pretty exciting. And of course, there's some mad meerkat news as well, but ultimately in this video, nothing should be considered financial advice, so please do your own research. This is simply for educational and entertainment purposes, and having said that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and get started with the price movement lately, and what has been driving the price of Crow down, and so, the main factor that has been driving all of crypto down right now has been inflation, specifically in the US. Our inflation numbers just came out the other day. The expected inflation amount was 8.3% year over year. It came out to be 8.6%, so higher than expected, and that kind of started driving the prices down because that essentially means that the Federal Reserve is going to be more than likely a little bit more hawkish. So, by the way, Federal Reserve Conference is going to be coming out later today at the time of you guys watching this video more than likely at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the afternoon on Wednesday. So, Jerome Powell is going to come out and he is going to let us know what kind of rate hikes are in store, whether it be that 50 point basis, which is what was originally planned, maybe 75 basis points, and it's unlikely that it's gonna be a full basis point, but still, that is going to weigh pretty heavily upon what happens tomorrow, whether we go up or whether we go down, I think if it comes in at 75 basis points or more, we are going to go way down. However, if it comes in at that 50 basis points like originally planned, I don't think much is going to change. But having said that, inflation can't continue to go up either. So there is a possibility that it could be 75 basis points or more. So make sure you tune in 2.30 Eastern Standard Time is when the conference is going to start when Jerome Powell is going to announce all of that. Second thing that then drove the price down even more was the fact that Celsius, one of the leading exchanges here in the US, has now frozen all of their assets. So if you have any funds with Celsius, you are unable to withdraw at this point, which is why the saying goes, not your keys, not your crypto. If you have your crypto on a centralized exchange, you are at the mercy of that centralized exchange. Now, not all of them are going to do this. I would argue that there are some major players like Binance, like Crypto.com, like Coinbase. Those are probably the top three that you're not gonna run into this particular problem with. That's not saying that it's never gonna happen, but I am pretty darn confident in those three at least that that kind of thing wouldn't happen. But again, if you have your own crypto wallet or the Crypto.com DeFi wallet, perhaps that is your crypto because you have your own keys and they're not able to freeze your crypto there. So you are able to withdraw whenever you wanted to, if you wanted to. So do want to mention that as well. So that is the other factor that is driving everything down. As of now, those funds are still frozen. So kind of curious to see what happens there. And as of right now, by the way, Crow is at 12 or 11 cents. It's kind of hovering around that range. And is this the bottom? That is probably the next question you're thinking. It, it may be. I don't have a crystal ball, so I'm not 100%, but I will say it could be the bottom just because that 200 week moving average has historically always been the bottom. And it did just tap that. Although in the past it has gone lower than that, but having said that, it's not gonna go too much lower than the 200 week moving average if we're going off of history. So since that is in now, historically, it could be the bottom, but there's a lot of macroeconomic factors that are going on right now. Take for example, inflation, like I've been telling you about, also the conflict in Ukraine. So there's just no telling, I guess is what I'm trying to tell you guys, but it is possible. Next on the news agenda here, I opened up a fortune cookie the other day and it said fortune favors the brave. So I wanted to share that with you guys. This is legit. This is something I seriously opened up. I posted it on Twitter and Chris Crypto.com liked it, so I thought that was pretty cool. Next thing I want to touch on the Kronos first a little bit. You can now buy Verse, which is the token for the Kronos first on Crodex. So simply pull up your Crypto.com DeFi wallet, go to the Kronos app, scroll down a little bit, find Crodex, and then you could swap Crow for the Verse token or whatever kind of token for the Verse token. But that's how you're going to go ahead and get that. Also, I wanted to share with you guys a quick little video that they just made earlier today at the time of me filming this video, at least. They wanted to showcase the Crow Crow Corners as part of the metaverse. The Crow Crow NFT team purchased a heck of a lot of land. I think it's a three by three plot and they ended up creating this wonderful kind of tree stump where the crows hang out. And if you own a Crow Crow and you are playing around in the Kronos verse, when you go into that tree, you actually have the ability to turn into a crow and fly around the metaverse. So Web3 is freaking crazy. The fact that you can do that, like I, 
I wouldn't have even thought that something like that was possible, but apparently it recognizes the NFT in your wallet. And if you do own one, you are able to turn into a crow and fly around. So that's pretty darn cool. So wanted to share that video to you guys as far as the Crowvillian NFT. If you wanted to get into the Kronos first, but don't want to own land, that is going to be launching in roughly a month or so, probably give or take a couple weeks. So I want to shout that out for you guys in case you wanted to save up your crow for that one. Next, I wanted to touch on the new Crypto.com missions feature. And so if you guys are familiar with that, when you actually go to the missions feature, you, you are able to get free diamonds, of course, for just simply logging into the app or for buying $20 worth of crypto or for buying $500 worth of crypto. You get different amounts of diamonds, which then can be redeemed for prizes like NFTs or jerseys or even crow, a mystery box in the form of crow. So, But now there is a new feature in addition to that where there's an exploration section where you're then able to do different tasks to earn more of those diamonds. So they're just adding essentially new ways for you to earn more diamonds and then cash in on whatever is in the store and available for you. So I thought that was pretty cool and I wanted to mention to you guys because that is brand new for the crypto.com app. Next, I wanted to touch on some mad meerkat news because something very big, I believe, is coming from what the canvas has been posting on Twitter lately. And first, let me say, I bought a new Mad Meerkat treehouse. If you guys hadn't seen one of my previous videos, I saw my previous one when the prices were a little higher at 10,800 crow, and then I just bought back in at 3,600 crow because it seemed like the bottom. So, like I said, we're at the 200 week moving average. So, for the most part, I think we're kind of at the bottom. It could go lower, of course, but so I bought back in. I got this new tree house and put it on the screen here for you guys. But nonetheless, I don't see MMF going anywhere in the future. They are definitely going to be sticking around in my personal opinion. Their price currently is at three cents and their all time high, I believe was $1.80. So that would be another one that I am personally considering on getting back into eventually. Um, I don't know if it's now or maybe a couple months from now. We'll see what their price does. But anyways, wanted to read to you guys a quick tweet from Canvas here. For those who missed our Burrow Discord lounge and update. MMA Mad Sax is still on track, more Mad integration taking place, most importantly expansion of the MM brand deeper into real world utility. That's the part that is kind of getting me excited, I think that's pretty cool. A membership with growing benefits, we're still here, always will be. And so. That gets me pretty excited. I'm excited to see what that actually means coming in the future here. So be on the lookout for something fun from Mad Meerkat. They always have fun surprises for us. I feel like they're always continuing to innovate. So I'm definitely a fan of them. I said, but that's about it for this news update, you guys. Again, keep on the lookout for Jerome Powell speaking at approximately 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on what is going to happen with inflation and let's see how hawky she's really going to be But that is about it for this one you guys. Thank you so much for watching Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen If you want to see different cryptocurrency updates go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification button If you're into crypto.com crow and chronos that is what we do here on this channel after all Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video Stay gold